Hello and good morning. Let's take a look here. Well, a couple of things going on. First of all, as you know, we have to have our test this weekend, test number two. Also, uh, retest. If you want to retest, you're going to have to sign up on the front wall. Okay, if you do not sign up, you may retest, but it's not going to be counted. Okay, so make sure you put the period, print your name. I need to be able to read it. Test number one, because that's the only one you're going to be able to make up, and then initial it. Okay, test number two, given this weekend, you're not going to be able to make that one up. So don't miss it, number one, and number two, do your best. You're going to have two tries at it. Okay, let's go on. Let's talk about today's work. Well, today's work here is what's the difference between simple interest and compound interest? Well, simple interest, you only earn one amount for the whole period of time. So it's interest equals principal times rate times time. Okay, whereas compound interest, what you do is you earn interest, you earn money, and then that money is added to your principal. And then that money earns interest, and then that money is added to your principal. So what happens here is your money starts to build. Okay, and uh, this one right here, um, before we start it, a calculator check. Some of you are not bringing a calculator to class. Okay, so I'm going to give points if you have it. If you don't have it, you will not get those points. Okay, get it out of your bag. Let's take a look here. Quarterly means four times a year. That's every three months at two and a quarter percent. Well, two and a quarter percent is 2.25 percent. So you got to move that over two places and that becomes 0 0.0225. And it's compounded quarterly. So you're going to say interest is equal to principal times rate times time. The principal is $2,000. The rate is 0 0.0225. The time is three months out of 12. Okay? Because it's quarterly. Every three months. Three, six, nine, twelve. Four times a year, quarterly, every three months. Okay, anyway, you're going to get your calculator, so get it out. I'm only going to work a couple of these. So you're going to take 2,000 times 0 0.0225 times 3. All of these right here. And then press equals and then divide by 12. Now see if you get my number here. So you get $11.25. Now you add this back to the 2000 So now you're going to have $2,011.25 as your new principal times the rate times 3 divided by 12. Okay? So that's the first three months. Now this will be the second three months. So this is the first. This one will be the second. So now you're going to take your amount, which is 2011 0.25 times 0 0.0225 times 3, press equals, divide by 12. Your new interest, if I did this right, and it looks right, 11.31. And then you go for the next three months. So the third one, you're going to add this back to the principal. So that looks like uh, 20. 22, if you add this up, and then 0.56. That's your new principal, times the rate, times 3, divided by 12. Now, you got to do this two more times. I did it twice. So take a look at my work. You compute the interest. That gives you the first month, first three months. You add it back to the principal. You take your new amount which is the money you invested plus the money you earn times the rate times the time divided by 12. And you get a new interest for the second three months. Then you add it back to the principal and you do that four times because it's quarterly. 
Any questions on how to do compound interest? Okay, today you have a worksheet right here. And if you get stuck, I want you to ask. So I want name, date, and period. Now, if you finish it, I expect you to go back to the book and work the problems in that section. I think it's 2.4, whatever we did yesterday, okay? All right, let's turn our attention now to college algebra. And here we are right here. Okay, so for college algebra, let's take a look. Well, the center here, this is a circle, so it's 0, 0, and the square root of 49. Remember, opposite, opposite square root. So the radius is 7. So if you graph that, you go 0, 0, which is the origin. You go up 7, over 7, down 7, this way 7, and you draw your circle. On the second one, the center here is not expanded out, so that's got to be 0. This one is the opposite, which is a negative 2, and the square root of 121 is 11. So now I got over 0, down 2, and then up 11, over 11, down 11, and somewhere over here, which I can't do. So that's it. That's all you do. Okay? Better than that, I hope. All right, this one right here is completing the square. Now, we talked about that in class. I said you got to organize your x's. Now, if you got x's over here, then you got to bring them to the other side. And remember, the sign changes when you cross that line. So draw that line. So you're going to get x squared plus 24x, a space, y squared plus 10y, a space. You're going to move the 160 over, which changes to a negative. Any questions so far? Remember, there's two things to complete in the square. What are they? Well, you take half of the middle term. Half of that is 12, and 12 squared is 144. So you're going to add 144 here and add 144 here. You're going to take half of this term, which is 5, and you're going to square it and get 25. So you're going to add 25 there and add 25 there. This becomes a perfect square Binomial, which is what we want. Now this is 40 to 200. So let me think here a minute. When you add this up, I get 169 minus 160. I guess that's going to give me 9. Okay, do the math, check it on your calculator. This right here is going to be x plus 12. 12 times 12. This is going to be y plus 5. 5 times 5. Okay, once you do that, it's opposite. Opposite. Square root of 9 is 3. Any questions on that? So you're going to go down, or rather to the left, 12, and then down 5. Then you're going to go up 3, over 3, down 3, over 3, and draw your circle. Any questions on how to complete the square? All right. One other thing before we begin, if you want to retake test number one, it's going to be on the board. If you do not sign up, you will not be allowed to take it, or it will not be counted, one or the two, okay? So you must have your name up here. Put the period, print your name, I need to be able to read it, test number one. You can't make up test number two, that's this weekend, and then initial it. And then i got to get the grades done, okay? So that's where we are. All right, let's move on now and look at today's work. Today's work is a worksheet. And I want you to be able to do it. It's dealing with circles. So here it is right here. If you cannot find a copy in my folder for some reason, it's right here. It's always going to be here. If you get stuck, ask for help. And that's it for this morning. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys in class.